Okay, I just cut that sucker down. And I looked at the stem and it's got a pretty good size hole right here. It's got some holes with some frazz inside the hole and several places. But I don't really see any true damage to the pith down here. So I'm thinking if there's still a grub, it's up above where this hole is, or right where the hole is. So I'm going to cut into this up here somewhere and see if we can see damage there first, and then I'll start working my way back down this way. Okay, I just cut it in half here. And we can see some obvious damage there. Looks like two holes. I don't know if they were made by two different borers, but I'll start working my way down and see if we can find him. My guess is it's probably down in here somewhere. Well, I cut down at the next joint and I split this open, you can see obvious damage. Then I cut this uh, down here at this next joint. And I can already see a larva in there. So there's at least one. Let's see if I can get him out. Hopefully an uh, expert will drop by and help us identify it. But there he is get a better look at it here but apparently I've been growing these every year and didn't realize it I'm sure this is probably a pretty regular thing for the sunflowers around here I've noticed that when it you know once they produce their flowers and seeds get uh, far enough along to harvest, then the plant itself uh, starts looking pretty rough. But I just thought that was a uh, byproduct of, you know, completing that seed cycle. Apparently, the insects also contribute to that. But if anybody can identify it from the, the larva, here he is. I'll dispatch him and see if we have any more. Well, once I got closer to the bottom, it started looking pretty nasty in there, uh, but I didn't find any more larva, just the one. So that just shows you what, what one or two can do. There might be some more up higher up. I'm not going to cut into that too much trouble on a hot day like this. But I would, if I grow sunflowers again, which I'm pretty sure I am, I'm thinking about trying to figure out what I can, there's some more insect damage up here, what I can do to keep them from doing this. But if you have any ideas, feel free to put them down in the comment section. Because I'm not the only one that's uh, having this problem, I'm sure. So if you're in the middle part of the country where there's wild sunflowers or soybeans, you might check your sunflowers for those little bitty holes in the stem.